Hey guys, so the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 just hit the shelves in Africa and some parts of Nigeria. Now, I'm super pumped up and super excited about this phone because the spec that it comes with, the build quality and everything, and then the price that you're going to be paying for it is just simply amazing. Like, how do these guys do this thing? So come on, let's look at the phone. Let's see some of the features that it comes with and let's see if it's actually worth your money, okay? So, the Redmi Note 8 is actually not really new in the market. It was launched since the month of August of 2019. And it took up to like three months before they finally brought it over to Africa because they've been selling it in India and some parts of Asia, first of all. So, the reason why I decided to give you a quick heads up because I actually got to lay my hands on the phone and looked at it from the Xiaomi guys. And the phone is actually really, really good. The build quality is super nice. The phone is actually made in glass. Now, that was the one that really knocked me off my feet, like glass on a budget phone. I mean, budget phones from Samsung, from Techno, from Infinix, and those other competitors have always been coming in plastic. So these guys actually brought this thing in glass, which is crazy. So for the build quality, I approve. The build quality is flagship spec and is super good. And I'm kind of I'm kind of impressed with it, you know. What's even more interesting here is that the 6.3 inches display is coated with a Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which is crazy. The only issue I have with the display is that the display is not large enough because we're in 2019, we've seen devices that have 6.7 inches display, 6.6, 6.5, so 6.3 is a bit small, but nonetheless, it's not a deal breaker. The display is actually LCD, it's not AMOLED. Now, it's quite understandable if you're having all these kind of awesome specs on this device with the price that it goes for, then some sacrifices have to be made. And some of those sacrifices have been made in the area of the display. Now, you will actually expect that this thing would actually come with a 720p display because almost every budget phone comes with a 720p display, but this thing comes with a 1080p display, which is really, really nice. Then straight out of the box, you're getting Android 9 Pie with the Mi UI 10 on it, and you'll be getting the 11 nanometer Snapdragon 665 series processor running on it. Then as for the memories, you have a ton of options. You know, you can actually get a 3 gigabyte RAM version that has 32 gigabytes in build memory. You have a 64 gigabyte version that has a 4 gigabyte memory. You have a 6 gigabyte version that has 64 gigabyte memory. And you have a 128 gigabyte version with 4 gigabytes of RAM. And you can also get a 128 gigabyte version that has 6 gigabytes of RAM. So the configuration you get in terms of the spec will actually depend on your region or where you're buying it from. And also, I forgot to mention that it has a dedicated SD card slot, so which means you can still use two SIM cards and a memory card on it. Then here's the crazy part. This thing comes with quad camera setup. In English, that means it has four cameras. Now, the first camera is a 48 megapixel main lens. The second one is an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. And then the third one is a 2 megapixel dedicated macro lens, which means you can actually use it to capture very tiny details. And also it has a 2 megapixel depth sensor. So this is actually going to be an epic battle by the time we're able to compare the Infinix S5 that is that will be launched in, um, in a couple of days time and the Redmi Note 8 because both of them are promising us the same kinds of cameras, you know, um, quad camera setup and macro lenses on both of them. So I can't really wait <laughs> to actually try both of them out. And what's even more interesting about this camera is that it cannot shoot up to 120 frames per second, which is actually crazy for a budget phone. The device actually has a 4,000 milliamp power battery. And what is interesting about this is that it can actually charge fast. The device supports fast charging and it comes with an 18 watts fast charger inside the box. All of these for about $200 or 80,000 Naira. So guys, that's our quick look on the Redmi Note 8 and I've actually placed an order for it. It has not been delivered yet and as soon as I get it, all of us were going to sit down together and actually um, do a proper review on it and check out these specs if they're actually worth it, alright? So until the next time, my name is T. Kingsley. I'll catch you again in the next one, alright? Bye for now.